Hi guys, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video is going to detail how to estimate the median from a group frequency distribution. Okay. Uh, so I suppose first of all, we actually have a formula that will help us to calculate the median. Okay, so let me just write down what the formula looks like. It looks a little bit complicated looking, but that's, it's actually quite straightforward. Uh, it is a process that we can follow to actually figure out all the values that need to go into this particular formula. So the formula uh, to calculate the median, okay, we'll define the median to be m subscript e. And what it's equal to, it's equal to L subscript M plus sigma F over 2 minus capital F of M minus 1 over small f of M. And that's multiplied by C of M. Okay. Now this looks pretty complicated looking, but it's actually straightforward enough. Yeah. Okay. So I suppose there's a number of, uh, I suppose, parts to this formula. The first thing that we will need to do is we'll need to calculate where the median resides in our classes. And the first thing I suppose we will do is we'll calculate where the median class should be. Okay. Once we've figured out which one of these classes represents the median class, well then L of M represents the lower bound of the class. Okay. C of M represents the width of the class. Uh, small f of m represents the actual frequency of the median class. Capital F of m minus 1 represents the cumulative frequency of the class before the median class. Sigma f is how many observations there is. Uh, so there's one, two, three, four, five sort of stages or parts to this particular calculation. Okay. But anyway, let's do the steps. So let's say step, step, step 1. The first thing we'll do is we'll construct a cumulative frequency distribution, or we'll construct a cumulative column in our tables. So that will be our capital F column. So the capital F column is going to be here, which is an accumulation of our frequencies as we go down through the classes. So as well as the question we're asking here is how many observations are less than 18? Well, there's four. How many observations are less than 31? There's the 10 in this class and there's the previous 4. That gives us 14. How many are less than 44? Well, there's 12 in this class, there's the 10 in the previous one and there's the 4 in the previous one to that. So that's the same as 12 plus 14, which gives us a value of 26. How many are less than 57? Uh, well, we have 14 plus 12 plus 10 plus 4. That's going to give us a value of 40. How many are less than 70? Well, we have the 9 in the previous 40. gives us 49. And how many observations are less than 83? Well, we have the sum of all the observations, or 3 plus 49 gives us 52. Okay. So, once we've figured out the cumulative values... Okay. What we know is that the median should split the data set up into two equal portions, where we have half the observations on one side of the median and the other half on the other side. So what we know is that we have sigma f observations. Okay. There's 52 observations. So what we need to do is this sigma f over 2 here is going to be the key for us finding where the median class resides. Okay. So step 2 is going to be to calculate calculate sigma f over 2. Now in our case here sigma f over 2 is simply equal to 52 divided by 2 which is going to give us a value of 26. Okay. So what we now know is this is that the median should have 26 values less than it and it should have 26 values greater than it. Okay. So what we know from an accumulative frequency perspective is that the data is all ordered from smallest through to largest. So what we need to do is we need to go through our cumulative frequencies until we find the first cumulative frequency that exceeds 26. Okay, so step three is to find the first cumulative frequency, the first cumulative frequency I'll just put F or EQ that exceeds 
sigma f over 2, or that exceeds 26. It's important that it exceeds it, okay? So, 4 is not greater than 26. 14 is not greater than 26. 26 is not greater than 26. But 40 is greater than 26. So, what we now know is this, is that the median class is 44 to 57, okay? So, this is the first value here that exceeds 